Today we have something a little bit different to share, and that is we are building a garden. I know a garden isn't something you usually build, but we turn it into a building project. Last year we did start a garden and we just laid out some stones over on the far end of our property, kind of far away from the house. And what ended up happening was we neglected the garden. I think it was so far away that we just didn't really pay much attention to it. It was far away from the hose, it was far away from everything, so it got, uh, it died. But we did get a couple of ears of corn out of it. And a gourd, yeah. maybe a pumpkin. So the two things we notice is that we need to stay on top of watering because we're in kind of a low rain area, even though it's raining today. <laughs> and the other thing is that the plants were getting eaten as soon as they were growing. So we wanted to bring it closer to the house where animals wouldn't get it and it'd be easier to water. So we started by working on our hose spigot. Spigot? Spigot. Sp spigot. Okay. So we started by working on our hose spigot. Bib. <laughs> right. Can you just what stick the spigot? Can I say bib? Silcock? Nobody says that. My mom said silcock because <laughs> I think she was reading it. <laughs> so we started by installing our hose spout. <laughs> I gotta look up the, the, the proper term I've for I've always literally called them spigots. Okay. Like literally. I'm gonna be installing this shark bite Bib. hose. The PEX is gonna plug right into there. This is a frost free hydrant thing. Anyway, so we're gonna be drilling a hole right through here. I decided to put it on this flat part of the siding so I can get a really good seal on it. Uh, we're gonna try to make quick quick work of this. Okay, before I before I drill this, let me peek my head around the back and make sure there's nothing in the way. Oh, oh, oh! Spider webs in the way. Look at this. I thought this was neat because, you know, it's the frost free, it goes through, you don't have to worry about it in the winter. But also, it has the shark bite fitting right on there, so it's gonna be an easy install. Pop it through there and just stick my pecs right in. Um, plus, it's got really cool shark that is cool. handle. Uh, this little plastic piece that comes on it is a spacer, it's like a wedge, and it's designed to hold it at a slight angle downward. So what it does is when you turn off the valve, it allows the water to run out of the hose and prevent it from freezing, or out of the... That part. This. I'm gonna screw it in with some stainless steel screws that I happen to have. I'll just pre-drill these really quick. Got my pecs hooked up, so let's try it out. Finally have our hose, spigot, on the house. That's really good. So now we can get working on our gardens and hopefully grow some food this year. That project went really smoothly for a change and that was good. Yeah. Then we started working on our garden beds. So we decided to build our garden in our backyard, directly out back. We can see it from our back window. It's really close to the hose and it's gonna be right, we, we're gonna pass it every day to go take care of the chickens. And it's pretty sunny there. Yeah. We wanted to define the space by building some garden frames. I looked around at the wood we had and found some pieces of wood that were cut from our old chicken coop that we tore down last year. If you guys didn't watch a video, maybe some of you guys are new to the channel, I'll link it at the end of this video or down below in the description. And we had a whole bunch of kind of warped, twisted boards that we had no use for. 
Uh, they were just stacked up behind the barn, so I pulled those out, cut them to length. We decided to do 10 feet long, so each bed is going to be 10 feet long by 3 feet wide. So after I got all the boards cut to length, uh, it was pretty easy to just nail them together. We decided to nail them instead of screwing them because the nails are cheaper than screws. We don't want to put a lot of money into this and screws cost a lot of money. Uh, we had a lot of nails left over for our framing gun, so I just popped them in. It was really quick. And these aren't meant to last a long time. They're just untreated wood. They might last a couple years. They're going to start falling apart, and that's fine. Uh, nails will be easier to pop out when they do fall apart. That's why we went with that. And basically, we just framed these 3 foot by 10 foot beds and put them in place where we wanted them. Now, I want to point out, these are not raised beds. We decided to go with garden frames because we just want to frame the garden to define the space. And what that does is it lets us um, easily see where the garden's going to be, add our ground cover because we're doing a no-dig gardening, and also maintain it easier. It's hard when you have a garden that just kind of just goes into your grass. The, the weeds, the grass yeah. is going to take over, you're going to have a sloppy edge. So we're not planning on filling these boxes up, but rather just leaving them as something to contain the space. Um, just to keep everything neat and orderly. Whereas a raised bed you would fill up with dirt. So raised bed, garden frame, we're doing a frame. So if you guys aren't familiar with no dig gardening, it's basically no tilling. We don't have a tiller, we don't want to till because tilling actually disrupts the soil and kills a lot of the life in the soil. And we feel like a healthy garden needs a living soil. So we want to maintain the structure and the ecosystem in the soil and not dry it out and kill it by tilling. So to do that, you have to kill the grass, and we chose to use brown paper as a ground cover. We have a lot of brown paper because we like to glue it to our walls. <laughs> and so we already had that on hand. That was three foot wide, and that's what defined our bed width was the paper. Uh, so it was actually really easy to just roll it out. Yeah. Now, a lot of people are covering their garden beds with cardboard because it's easy to get it's usually free cardboard has a lot of usually like ink tape different things on it extra glue because it's glued together sometimes staples they're and, a pain to get out and rolls of brown paper can be really inexpensively bought at like any hardware store and we actually thought this is a really good idea to experiment with as a ground cover it's got you don't have to worry about all the glue and tape and all that junk that might be on boxes and it's also really easy to work with and being only one layer I feel like it's going to break down easier which is a good thing for us because mm -hmm. we want the plant roots and everything to get through it easily not be held up by like the cardboard so we rolled out the cardboard cardboard tape no <laughs> <laughs> not tape <laughs> paper so we rolled out the brown paper and then what and then we used compost on top of that, which we have a huge pile of it. We did like five loads total and split it up between the four. Probably a couple inches thick, two or three inches thick. And that's going to help suppress the weeds, mm -hmm. feed the garden, yep, nutrients, and hold the paper down. And then on top of the compost, we want to keep the compost moist and healthy. So we went into the chicken run. Yeah, we raked up the hay that I had in there from over winter time because the chickens like that in the winter. Hay makes a really good path on the snow. Yeah. Because the chickens don't really like walking on the snow, but they enjoyed the hay. Yeah. So, so the, we got all that out of there and put that on top of the compost. And a lot of people are afraid of putting hay in their gardens because it is full of seeds and grass seeds and weed seeds. But this hay had been sitting since winter. It's out in the weather, out in the sun. The chickens peck through it, scratch through it. It's probably mostly dead. And if anything does sprout, we'll just keep an eye on it and pick it out. And that was it. The garden is basically done. Um, so it's just the brown paper, compost, and then old hay on top. Now, if we wanted to, we could keep layering that, put more compost, more hay, 
make like a lasagna type garden. We may do that, but I think we're gonna keep it simple. Right now it's raining, which is good because that means everything's getting wet and settling in, the compost, the brown paper, and right now we have about a month for it to just settle before we mm -hmm. start planting into it. Our last frost day is um, the end of May. So we're gonna let these sit and just kinda start their thing, kill the grass underneath, and in a month, hopefully we can start getting plants in the ground. We're gonna try to do a garden. There's no real like guarantees because we can't tell the future. Yeah. Everything is always up in the air. Sometimes you make plans and plans don't happen. Uh, we're starting seeds. Um, I'm just going to add some new ones. We're, we're going to try to grow a garden. That's where we're at right now. Yeah. Yeah, that project was actually really easy, really quick. We put it off for far too long because we get intimidated about starting these things. But it didn't cost us anything and it was pretty easy. For a while we didn't even know where we were going to do a garden. We thought we were going to do it in the old spot, but then we're like, why do it way over there? Yeah, if I did it in the old spot, I would have to build a fence. We'd have to have a really long hose dragged over all the time. Yeah. And the ground over there is uneven, which makes gardening a little more tricky. I just feel a lot better where they are now, yeah. like right in the backyard where it's flat. It's a little more shady here, but it, I think it'll get plenty of sun. Yeah. So, hopefully we have a successful gardening year this year. We're really trying our best to make it happen. Uh, something we really want to learn and get better at. We've never really been successful at gardening. We've grown, grown a few things, but, mm -hmm. you know, nothing... Not a lot. Nothing. Not too much. Uh, we're not planning on doing any, like, preserving or anything. We just want a simple garden to eat from as Probably a learning. Probably, like, butternut squash. Yeah. Just easy stuff. We're going to master gardening before we master preserving. <laughs> yeah. So one step at a time. So that is how we built our garden frames. Pretty cool project. Simple. Didn't and cost us anything. So that was just a little project we wanted to share with you guys. We hope you enjoyed the video and we should have another one coming soon. So until next time, take care. Bye.